version on Novavax. Um, you know that we had uh, successfully concluded exploratory talks some time ago in December, and negotiations are ongoing. I cannot say at this stage when we expect the contract to be concluded. Of course, it's important for us that we continue developing a diversified portfolio with different companies using different technologies and different platforms. And uh, so we are working towards the conclusion of a contract with this company. That's one thing. On the second issue, the um, doses that are available for the member states. You know that when we, uh, before we sign a contract with uh, or an advanced purchase agreement with the company, member states are first asked, of course, to um, whether they want to opt out or not. This has not been the case. And then also discussions uh, take place between the member states as to the number of doses that are divided between the member states. We always use as the starting point, as we said before on, on, on many occasions, the population-based distribution key. So we look at the population on that basis. The, the distribution happens between the member states. This is a key which is very fair and just because it takes into account the fact that the virus strikes everywhere. But of course, Member states may, if they wish, uh, have less numbers of a certain vaccine. Others may wish more of the vaccine. So it is possible that the system uh, gives this flexibility to agree on a different distribution mechanism. So member states may agree on this. And when there's an agreement on this, then indeed um, it is clear for the company also how many vaccines have to be delivered to the different member states using this new distribution key. Um, I hope this clarifies things a little bit. Thank you. Thank you, Stefan.